forest, and due to heavy rain, the whole forest was very muddy. While passing through the forest, the farmer's donkey got stuck in the mud. He tried hard alone to pull the donkey out of the mud, but all in vain. The farmer did not understand what to do. Sometimes when a person does not understand something, he takes out his anger on others for no reason. In the same way, all night long, the farmer was in trouble and cursed everyone he knew. From his tongue, neither the enemy, nor the friend, nor the king escaped, because the forest was a part of the king's kingdom. By chance, the king passed through the forest with his slaves. Everyone heard that a farmer was cursing the king. Suddenly, the farmer's eyes fell on the king. He was very worried that the king heard everything. Now his end will be very bad. At that time, the slaves started filling the king's ears. One said, O king, let this man's neck be cut off with a sword because he has insulted your glory. The second slave said, O king, let him be put in prison because he has not only spoken evil of you, but also of your family. The king looked at the farmer, whose donkey was stuck in the mud. The king felt sorry for the farmer's condition. He forgave the farmer's inappropriate words and drank his anger. The king rewarded the farmer, and he was honored and given a white horse as a reward. Dear children, we learn from this story that it is true that it is easy to repay evil with evil. But man must respond to evil with good.